Hey guys, it's Ace Spartan, and this is part two of our Yu-Gi-Oh! openings of every core set that's out right now. This video is for the GX series. Uh, the first pack to come out for GX was Lost Millennium, and they came out in 2005, so it's been a pretty long time. So, we got all the sets here, Lost Millennium to Light of Destruction, and let's get into it. So we got the Lost Millennium first. This introduced Elemental Heroes, uh, Jaden's uh, Key Monsters, and Ancient uh, Gears, which was, uh, I believe, Crawley was his name for the, the anime. So, let's get into it. Uh, I n never opened any of these packs before, so this is my first time, and I haven't seen any cards, so I am excited to open up this part. As well as every other part, but this one is very cool because it has the Elemental Heroes that everybody likes, so... Clayman there. Uh, Avion, one of the Bane. Millennium Scorpion. Creepy looking guy. Guardian Statue. Battery Man. Mind goal. Alright. Next, we have Cybernetic Revolution. Uh, vehicle Roids were introduced, and the Cyber Dragon archetype got more uh, support. So Let's see what happens here. Psychoroid there to bike. Dragon's Mare is supposed to be pretty good. We got the Bubble Shuffle. Very cool. Boom. Alright. Very cool. Next, we have Elemental Energy. This introduced a lot more support for uh, Elemental Heroes, Dark World, uh, the XYZ archetype. Uh, and yeah, it's very cool. Like the purple, so let's see what happens. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, the familiar possessed. They have a bunch of different types. We've got level limit area A. Very cool. Gateway to dark world. Handle breaker looks cool. And the Ojamas there. Funky looking Ojamas. Alright. Next we have Shadow of Infinity. This introduced the Sacred Beasts. That are pretty much the God Cards in GX. Uh, a lot of Cyber Dragon Ancient Gear stuff. And yeah, just looks cool. Looks like Obelisk. So. Obelisk is my favorite Egyptian god. So. I presume this this one would be uh, my favorite in GX. All right, so let's see what we got here. D guy looks cool. We got uh, Phantasmal uh, Martyrs. Very cool looking cards. Ant Eater, eating ant. <laughs> Generation shift. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting cards. Alright, next we have Enemy of Justice. This introduced Destiny Heroes and a lot of fairy type uh, support. So Destiny Heroes, I guess, were the uh, the evil heroes in the show. I haven't really watched the show, so but that's what I'm guessing. One of them looks like Wolverine right there, so. Alright, so. Cyber Kieran there. Got a mirror. Uh, yeah, this is a foil. We got the Clock Tower Prison. Super rare. Very cool. This has to do with clock counters and Destiny Heroes. So, I guess that, that was their whole gimmick there. Alright. Very cool. Got a foil out of that. That's really cool. Alright, next we got Power of the Duelist. Uh, the alien archetype and the Neos archetype was introduced in this set, so let's see, let's see what we get. Let's read that. Sorry. All right. Bite Leon. Blade Master looks cool. 
And we got another foil. It is Neospatian Flare Scarab. Looking cool. Throw the super rare there. Rescue Roy. Very cool. We got another foil. I am happy with that. Next, we have Cyber Dark Impact. Cyber Dark Monsters obviously were introduced due to the pack name. And yeah, let's see what happens. I believe uh, Black Horn of Heaven came out of this as well. I remember a bunch of people doing the Black Horn of Heaven challenge, I believe. So, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And I am not wrong. There is a Black Horn of Heaven right there. <laughs> Very cool. Also, these statues were used for a deck in, uh, I believe, Japan. They had a, a deck built around these. So, Oh, very cool. We got a Black Horn of Heaven. That's really good. Next, we got the Strike of Neos. I know this pack because six Samurais were introduced in this pack. Bunch more support for Neospatians and Dark World as well. And Secret Rares return in this pack. So, get Secret Rares in this smithy. So, let's see what we'll get. Yeah. Came on. Six Samurai. Dark World there. You got Neos Force. For our rare. Marionette Might. Pretty good. Lecture Rise is good as well. Very cool pack. Next we have Force of the Breaker. Crystal Beast and Volcanics were introduced in this set. Interesting. I believe this is Volcanic. Uh, Monster on the front, so let's see what we got. Ooh, we got another super rare here. It's the Tri Blaze Accelerator. I believe this is for volcanics. Pretty much for pyro monsters, so very cool. There's a crystal beast for you there. A couple crystal beast cards. Crystal Rick. Pretty cool, we got a super rare out of that at least. We got Tactical Evolution. Ghost Rares were introduced in this set. And Gemini Monsters were introduced. So, And everybody who was hunting after this set because of uh, Summoner's Art. When uh, Cliff Forts were big. Ambush Fangs. Um, just got a rare, and this one is Elemental Hero Marineos. Got Elemental Hero, looking cool. Arva. Next, we have Gladiator's Assault. Gladiator Beasts and Six Samurai support were in this, as well as Alien and Gemini archetypes were getting more support. Gladiator Beasts, from what I've Heard uh, wrecked the scene for a while, so as well as six samurai. So, pretty sure this is a good set. No entry, spirit of the six samurai, gladiator beast, Mermillo, Mermillo, yeah, Claudians, Truckroid. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, a very good uh, common to get. I believe I only have one of these, so making it two is very good. All right, getting down to the last two packs, we have Phantom Darkness. A lot of staples, apparently, in the set. Or something. This was probably the hardest um, pack to get. I couldn't find a single pack on eBay, so I had to go to, uh, I believe, PokeOrder.com to grab one pack, and I think it cost like 11 bucks. It was pretty... Pretty crazy, but got one pack and let's see what we get. Let's see koalas, cute. Shinobi. Uh, I take Gipede the Warm Warrior. It's interesting. Glad you to boost. Dark Crusader looking cool. Nothing too notable there, but 
to our last pack of part two of our GX pack openings here. We got Light of Destruction, Light Sworn, and Arcana Force, our types were introduced. I know people are hunting after the Ghost Rare Honest, and that would be nice to pull. So, for our last pack here, let's see what we get. Better man there. Wow, that's a really good card to pull. <laughs> it is a Fog King Secret Rare. People are using it in Monarchs a lot uh, nowadays. To, I believe counter other Monarchs. Yeah, so that's a really good card to pull. In our last part of our first series, we got um, a Lightning Vortex Ultimate Rare. So in this last part, we got the Fog King Secret Rare. It's pretty good. We also got a rare, the Ribbon of Rebirth. Very cool. I am very happy with that pull there. So, that is our GX pack openings. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to look out for the next part, which would be 5Ds. Where, pretty much, if we get a foil, we get a rare and a foil. Like this last pack for some reason. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, learn what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.